Hi everyone, welcome to Live in Life. My name is Victoria. This is my wife, Regina. This is our sunny boy. Snakey Land. Please subscribe to this channel, hit this bell button. Thank you so very much. Yeah. And subscribe to all, all our vlogging channels. Links are in the description. Insta below. perfect. Yes. We finally bought a stick. Selfie, Selfie stick. stick. We're so happy. So yeah, now we will have more. And those are, as you see, beautiful, sweet, sticky ribs, barbecue ribs with cheesy gravy or cheesy sauce. And I took idea from Koreans. So heavy. Ribs and cheesy sauce should be very much in. As well as we have cheesy potatoes. Those are with um, garlic and cheese and they are, as you see, they're pretty perfect. Perfect. Oh. And uh, cherry, cherry tomatoes. tomatoes as a vegetable, too, you know. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I want to yeah, try no. a bit of the gravy, but I know it's not like exactly like a normal gravy. No, it's not a normal. In my house, it's never nothing normal, really. I'm good for now. Mm. Mm. Nice. They're very sticky. They are sticky. They it's are heavy. sticky. Mm, that is mm, heavy. Mm, 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 mm. Potatoes, but got by guys, but but recently guys. you became very Italian. No. Yeah, right. As if. Um. Yeah, take it. It's take. very cheesy. Oh, sweetheart potato. Which one would you like? This one. <laughs> and I want just one. Oh, well, oh, I did a good job. Da, da, and, it's some, and it's some salt on your potatoes. You got some sprinkled salt on your tomatoes. We're good. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Potatoes. Yeah, we, we, we became a little bit of English. Hi to did all of our Brits. Too much salt. Did I? Yeah, I bet. Well. <laughs> Here. But I'll give you this one. I will close your mouth when you... There, that'll be good. Can I have to make tomatoes, please, Ariel? Hey, Brits. Tomatoes. Yeah, I, I grew up with uh, all the uh, English chefs. So I have like chips and tomatoes. And um, we grew up with um, English TV mostly. So um, that's what we're doing. Did it come from here or did it come from there? Or did we totally switch sides? You know, isn't it per perfect? Um. And you need no. to see something like here. I'm, I want to try that gravy. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll pass it on to you. Yeah. Give me just give me a sec. The gravy, the gravy one. I can't reach. I know. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry for my fork. Okay. <laughs> I have it. Oh my. And just something special. Need you something. like the cheesies? Mm -hmm. So can I have it here a little bit? I will. Yes. I will. Wait a second. I will put the cheeses, a little bit of cheeses on my. Can you need pour something on it? I didn't put the cheese itself. Take the cheese itself. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, now let's eat. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes, they're going to be out. The bones. I need salt. I know, the okay. potatoes. Definitely need salt. Okay. You know what they say in Russian? If something falls all the time, it means that someone or something rushes to yours. Something good. I'm not even kidding you. Like it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous? Harry Potter joke. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, the what spell works uh -huh. really creepy. What mm -hmm. do you think about the um, last one? Mm. Wow. Those mm -hmm. ribs are good. Mm -hmm. sweet and sticky. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I dropped a piece of potato and not a piece of rib. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. That cheesy sauce does really improve it. I don't know. How is it for this? Tell us. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I'm just gonna... Those are a little bit different cut. Ribs. I bought them in the Asian market and they cut not lengthwise one rib, but through the all side, as you see here, you see a lot of uh, bones. And those are for barbecue. This is Asian uh, type of ribs. That's how they cut it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Me too. Actually, I find that the meat doesn't fall off the bone so much. It actually, actually hold the whole piece. No, I didn't. I could make it this way, but I didn't want to. I think this um, the sticky like version. Let's see. Those are my napkins. Mm. Is it good, Filipa? What do you need? <laughs> About there. Mm. It is super hard to eat in pretty much every bite. No, but you don't. You eat. You know how you eat? I found a way. You eat the front. And the top, no, and then yours, the bone comes off. because the bones are in the bottom. Mine are directly in the middle. Huh? That's why they're impossible. Mine are impossible to eat. Mine is proper. Mine, for some reason, is in the middle. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the bone comes off. But you see how the glistening? I will said that it looks like someone else made it. No, I think it looks like TNT, but they have glossy stuff. And they have it very glossy. I made it with maple syrup, actually. Oh. Yeah, I, I totally taste the sweetness. That's why it reminded me of uh, waffles in the beginning. <laughs> Can I have a little bit of um, waffles? Sauce? Yeah. In the first bite, it reminded me, like... Sauce. Thank Are you, you sure this is not ribs? This tastes like waffles. <laughs> not even remotely. Yeah, I don't know. It's actually potato inside the sauce. Some, some, sometimes they say the weirdest things, who knows? Mm. Mm. They do! And some kids more than others. Well, this kid was talking True. three word sentences before he started walking. So True. that should explain a few things. Oh yeah, it should. It's very... Mm. Did I ever go further than three? Yes, since then, but... I meant... Way from At that time. No, but I mean... I didn't just say three random words. You said meaningful things, like a sentence. Of three words that you could totally... And you were clearly understood, like... It, you were pretty clear in your speech. He was. He was extremely clear. Mm. Even had problem communicating on the playground with the boys, because boys normally, when they're really really young, they don't talk well. No. In general. Oh yeah. As a general rule, girls, as a general rule, start talking way faster. See, so we're playing a lot with the with the girls, because they were, they could follow you and um, you know they could talk better. And you could follow better. Exactly. As you would create games. With, um, so he would invent a game and it would just come step one, step two, step three, step four, step and he was ten. step ten, and you know, and you were like, what, four? Mm -hmm. And the boys couldn't follow him, and the boys were like six and seven, and they couldn't follow his uh, complicated instructions, and they would lose him eventually. So mm -hmm. you played very well with girls, because the girls can follow better at that age. Mm. Yeah. I think that the, um, there, were, there was research that they say that we naturally tend to talk to girls more than we talk to boys. No, that sucks. Why? Because as a social collective, 
We think that the boys are not as talkative, they're more doers. How did that research? Really? Mm -hmm. I, I bet it is what it is. And if you see little, like they took baby and dressed him or her, I don't remember. One in a boyish way and one in a girlish way. In a girlish way. And people tend to talk to baby girls more than they tend to talk to baby boys. That is just pure wrong. Mm -hmm. And they want. Do they have uh, tomatoes? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Really? Mm -hmm. That is very strange. I don't know if it's the case these days though. Do you think moms talk less to their boys, baby boys, than to the girls? I'm almost positive that it is the case. <laughs> Even if it's their first probably child? Probably because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and probably because also. Um, Interesting. Easy things happen. Mm. What, honey? What did that what do you mean? What? I, I was thinking of at school times, usually they get better grades. No, but it's before. It's when they're babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I dropped something else. You know what? No kidding. It's good that we went to Walmart and got the stain removal. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know. Ridiculous? <laughs> Those are so good. Yeah, seriously, so really? They mm -hmm. don't cost. Oh, interesting. I think it's bizarre. As much as, I would say, they, they made the same um, just not, not long ago. Um, they made, uh, sorry, the same idea and they put sorry. random toys for boys and for girls, you know. So, can you give me tomatoes too? Excuse me, sweetheart. They found that um, if they say girl, girl baby, or at least they think that it's girl baby, people will bring um, her more soft toys, like plush and etc. And not challenge them, girls especially. Like, you know, girls, girls that, you know, something that you need to build or something like this. If they think that it's boy, baby. Yeah, they get them they will Dagla, start Legos or Duplos. Mm -hmm. Still? You mm -hmm. need Duplos, though. Mm -hmm. But they're bigger. In the 21st century? Oh, yeah. They don't get... Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. And then they think that if you don't encourage your baby, whether it's boy or girl, to do so, those stuff, like Legos and etc. Maybe their math skill will be less when they came to the school because they never had to actually calculate things. Yeah, interesting. Yes. Yeah, that part is true. You know what? Very true. Sometimes I'm so shocked. Like you know what? It's 21st century. You know. What do you mean you talk less to baby boy than a baby girl? What do you mean you don't give them Lego? There is a pink Lego, if, even if you believe that they're colors for boys and girls, which is totally different situ yeah, situation, is because pink is just a color. If a boy wants to wear pink, go for it. What's the big deal? It's just a color. It is just a color. Right? Like, definitely just a color. Because how come girls can wear every color, but the boys, but boys can't can. wear, let's say, pink? Or baby blue, or light blue when they're older. Or purple. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. Polar root. No, I don't know. Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna eat this piece. It's unedible. Okay. Take um, this piece. This one? Be, yeah. I think this one will be good for you. See lots of meat on top? Yeah. This one's so chewy, like I can't even bite it. I just. That, this piece is incredible. Mm. But sometimes I think that people, um, I give them so much credit, I think people are so, you know, progressed and, you know, it's like, why would you do that? Like, it just makes no oh. sense to me. And then it's like, oh Some, yeah, but this is the reality. I'm like, whoa. Some things are just psychological. Yep. And I can't believe I actually said that word without messing it up. <laughs> Good job. What is it? Some things are psychological. Mm-hmm. It is. No, I need water. I make my effort. Oh, you can drink it. Oh, it's for me. Thank you. Yeah, I try to give you. 
Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, this is how it works. Oh my, the ribs are phenomenal. Switching to the food theme. You know. Mm. She asked me, why do you buy those ribs? And I, and I said to her, I just think that it will be awesome. They're crazy good. More potatoes, sweetie? More tomatoes, mm. please. More potato, Argo? No. Actually, yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you, Maya. You want potato? Which potato would you like? You can take it, actually. It's close um, to you. This is the yeah. one. Go for it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Sad. No. Spatially challenged. That's me. You're not spatially challenged. Just a little bit. And there's something about girl. Um, usually, um, pretty much everywhere it's not a problem, but in certain places, you're not allowed to wear dark colors like black. Girls um, or girls, boys girls, or girls, everyone? Girls. I don't know. Everyone? I think that's a different story completely because. Look, until these days, but there is child marriage for boys and girls in some point of the world. So, yes. Let's put it this way. Yeah, why are we surprised? Yeah, it's not that oh, arranged marriage or... No, no arranged not... marriage still, still exists, you right? In Canada too. Mm. Yep. And in the United States. And oh, yeah. Europe. Everyone thinks that it's not, but it is. It's uh... In a closed societies. Oh, yeah. It still exists. I love the... Um, Garlic shoots on the potatoes. And those those are garlic shoots, if you didn't know. Yeah. Um, um, more ribs, sweetheart? You don't more ribs, Ariel? Mm -hmm. I think I'm done. You're done? She's thinking <laughs> she's not done. <laughs> Have more ribs, sweetheart? Yeah. Why not? They're amazing. Sweet, sticky. You're done, Maga? Yeah. You full? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Those are so good. They are. They're like unbelievably so good. Mm. You want a tomato? Thank you. You want a tomato? His family loves tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Look, it's good, eh? The potato? Yeah. I know. Mm. The longer you look at the food, the harder it's to resist it. I know. It's impossible. Thank you. <laughs> this is one of the most messy, sticky situations. <laughs> Something good is coming to us. Not superstitious at all. No. This is what uh, Russian people believe. Yeah. It's not necessarily good. It's something someone is. Uh, we believe in, in good. We believe in good. And I think it's like mantra. You know what? Certain beliefs, you know, are worth. Depends on the, yeah, but depends on the culture. Mm -hmm. They literally almost feel like they drilled into your head. And every time it happens, especially you with this belief. You're really hooked on that one. She always says, oh, something's good is on the way. I mean, I don't know if it's originally should be good or whatever. It should be whatever. But, but I, you converted it to a good one. It's like remind me, remind me to put positive energy to the universe. And um, maybe I'm, um, you know, where, when, where something falls, like, uh, I don't know, whatever falls from me or them, I... I run this like mantra inside my head, oh, something good is coming, something good is coming, something good is here. And you know what? It's not a bad in any... Uh, yeah. Because if you have belief that drilled to your head, pretty much, what do you do? 
Oh, we have lots of napkins here, sir. Convert, convert it to positive beliefs. Exactly, because you, it's there. You can't get rid of it. Sometimes uh, probably you can, but well, she can. She can. Mm. Why bother? Why bother? So just convert it to something good. So yeah. Anyway, that was delicious. Thank you very much. And as usual, thank you for joining us. And don't forget to subscribe, write like us a, a comment, comment, thumbs, thumbs up, up us and share this live and life. And remember, go towards your joy and do something fun every single day. Bye. See you tomorrow. Our online shop, we have Go Towards Your Joy t-shirts, tank tops, cups, stickers and unicorns. Thank you. Love you.